In 2005, under the Precision Engagement Program, the A-10 received a new cockpit with color displays, GPS navigation, night vision capability, a modern weapons system with JDAM bombs, and Link 16 integration. Later came the A-10C, a version intended to be the final upgrade, though as history has shown, nothing about the Warthog is ever truly final. Its modernization has always been about finding balance between leave it as it is because it works and upgrade it so it survives. In 2022, the U.S. Air Force announced plans to replace the wings on 218 A-10s, extending its service life by at least another 10 years. Ironically, even after 50 years in the sky, it remains relevant, because there's still nothing else that can do its job better. And now for the most interesting part, where exactly this titanium-hearted grandpa has shown his fury? The first Gulf War? A classic. The A-10 destroyed over 900 tanks, 2,000 armored vehicles, and 1,200 artillery positions. In Kosovo, it supported NATO ground forces. In Afghanistan, it delivered precision strikes on mountain hideouts. In Syria and Iraq, it played an invaluable role in the fight against ISIS, where accuracy and endurance were critical. It flew when even newer jets didn't dare take off. Every A-10 mission is more than just a combat sortie. It's an act of direct support for those on the ground. It's that moment when infantry hearing the familiar knew they now had a chance. And as long as the enemy fears its cannon more than any missile, this aircraft will remain a legend.